Hey folks, Jim here with Science Talk. I want to share with you this article that appeared in the online phys.org uh, publication. And uh, it involves uh, methane. Methane discovery sheds new light on world's largest mass extinction event, usually abbreviated as MEE. And they provide a tectonic and stratigraphic uh, background of the study area and adjacent uh, regions. Be that as it may, I'm not a geologist. But what's important here is what they found. Methane emissions created by volcanic activity burning buried fossil fuel deposits could have played a major role in the global warming that triggered the largest mass extinction event in Earth's history a new study suggests. The late Permian mass extinction, also known as the Great Dying, happened around 260 million years ago, wiped out more than 90% of Earth's marine species, more than 75% of terrestrial species. So this is before uh, dinosaurs appeared. Previous research has concluded that the extinction event was likely caused by the devastating effects of a period of intense global warming and found evidence that large volumes of carbon emissions released by volcanoes were the main driver of the global warming behind the late Permian mass extinction. In this new study published by the journal Nature Communications, researchers uncovered evidence to show that huge volumes of high temperature methane triggered by massive volcanic activity may have also played a significant role in the warming. The research led by scientists from Lancaster University, along with researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the University of Manchester, industrial partner PetroChina, focused on the Anyu gas field located in the Sichuan Basin, China. The gas field sits on an area which in the late Permian era was home to large-scale volcanic activity. These areas, characterized with widespread igneous rock deposits, are known as large igneous provinces. Following sampling of natural gas wells in the basin and factoring the volume of gas reservoirs as well as rock density and amounts of pyrobidumin, which is a byproduct of cracking of oil into methane. The scientists calculated it up to 1,440 gigatons, gigatons of methane may have been released into the atmosphere from the whole basin during the late Permian era. Let's repeat that. 1,000 440 gigatons of methane may have been released into the atmosphere from the whole basin during the late Permian era. In global warming terms, the scientists say this is equivalent to more than 40,410 gigatons of carbon dioxide, which is 1,000 times the annual carbon emissions of modern people. As the global warming potential of methane is 28 times that of CO2 over a 100 year period. The, sci the scientists believe that these large amounts of methane could have been created as super hot volcanic mantle plumes heated underground coal and oil deposits. Dr. Zhang Zhu, who is a senior lecturer at Lancaster University and lead author of the paper, said the novel combination of these isotope techniques in this study provided strong evidence for the generation and the emission of high-temperature methane in the Sichuan Basin during the late Permian. In Earth's history, large amounts of organic matter were buried underground. Very large quantities of methane could have been generated and released from oil or other organic matter buried underground by heating from 
mantle plumes. So basically, um, providing a couple of mechanisms that could have released the hypothesized amount of methane. Uh, methane. Carbon dioxide emissions were a major driver of the global warming and mass extinction, but our findings showed that such a large release of methane could have been another key driver of global warming and climate change during the late Permian and could have contributed to mass extinctions in the past. I say that's very likely. Using a clump methane isotope technique, they calculated the formation temperature of the high temperature methane, which they found to be around 250 degrees Celsius, a wee bit warm. This was higher than the temperatures normally experienced during the geological burial history of the gas reservoir, suggesting the involvement of an additional source of heating. In addition, analysis of, of noble gas isotopes, noble gases like he, uh, helium, argon, neon, xenon, right? those guys, you find them in the far right-hand column of the periodic table, identified the involvement of mantle-derived fluids, confirming that mantle was involved in generating methane. The methane could subsequently rise to the surface through cracks and, and fissures and into the atmosphere. Previous studies have shown that the large igneous province, uh, province in this region intruded the basin during the late Permian, which is why the researchers suspect the methane was created during this period. And of course, need high further research. Now, why is this important? You want to know what's going to happen in the present and likely happen in the near future? Look to the past. You've heard me say this statement many times. Large amounts of methane, global warming, leads to mass extinction. What's happening now? We're having methane. We're having more and more of it released. We're having basically warming that is accelerating. Most likely 7 to 11 C by the century, ends of the century. That will cause mass extinction, including us. So, um, more evidence demonstrating how we're really mucking things up. And in so doing, threaten our own very existence. Thank you for your time.